Happy Tuesday and welcome back to the vlog you guys. I thought for this vlog we would do a week in the life So I'm gonna take you guys along my entire week. Obviously, I didn't vlog yesterday because it was such a busy day I had meetings and then I had filming. It was just it was a lot going on. It's a little bit slower today I did wake up early. I've been waking up around 8 30 which that for me is early I know for some people it's like girl but that's early for me. So I'm waking up at 8.30 and then getting out of bed by like 9. I like to lay there for a bit and it's a nice cuddle with the boy. And then we get up and start our day. Yesterday was just like a go, go, go day. So I didn't even, I didn't even bother grabbing the camera. I went to my Pilates at 5.30. And then today I went on a walk with the boys. And then I just got off the treadmill. I'm wearing this set from Set Active. It's really cute and I love that this is like a little t-shirt. But I really like it. And I'm wearing my New Balance, which I love. I normally don't go on the treadmill with these. I wear my Nike. I'll link both of them. Those are the ones that I work out in these are like my going out like I love wearing these out but I washed the other ones and they don't have the laces on them so I just put these on so yeah we did 30 minutes in the treadmill 12 3 30 which was great I was sweating I burned like 300 calories like a mile and a half it's a good little workout to sweat because Pilates is amazing but I don't always sweat and I just felt like I needed to so I do need to shower, but we might be going to seafood boil, a little cheat date. So you guys maybe might be coming along with us for that if we decide to go. That's today. I also steamed all my PJs. I'm going to do a little holiday video. I'll show them to you guys. They're so cute. They're from Victoria's Secret. And Victoria's Secret actually has 40% off right now. So I'm going to link my favorites down below so that you guys can go check them out. They're perfect gifts. I already bought some Christmas gifts there. I got PJs for myself. They're so cute. These are my little... Um, champagne flutes that I got at Home Goods. I brought them out for Saturday, which Saturday was so cute. I don't know if the lighting is like too bright. But Saturday turned out to be amazing. Everybody came over. We all enjoyed food. There's lots of desserts going around, drinks. My cousin's husband made espresso martinis and they were so good. We had espresso martinis, champagne, wine, whiskey. Not, not that I drank all of that, but that's what we had available and it was so good. Everything was so good. The vibes were good. They were fun. They all enjoyed their little gifts. They all went home loaded with so many things. They were so excited. It was so much fun. I love spending time with my family. I think that's going to be our new tradition to do like the cousins the week, the weekend before Thanksgiving and then my immediate family, siblings on Thanksgiving just because it's hard to get everybody together. And you know what? Let's open some packages. I got a few packages in so... Let's open them up. Let's see what we got. And the house is a bit of a mess. I still have the setup on the table because I'm like, why am I gonna take it down? We're getting together on Thursday. So the setup is still there. Okay, this box is from Nude Sticks. Ooh, this is Nude Skin. It's in this cute little baggie. This is such a cute bag. So they sent me two of, I'm assuming like clear and then this little mobby. I feel like the exposure is too bright. Look at that. Okay, let's try the clear one. Oh, my lips feel crusty too. Mmm, it smells like peppermint. This feels nice. Oh, it's like minty. Oh, that's it. Okay, I need to put my glasses on, you guys know. It's the Hydro Peptide Lip Butter. Ooh, this feels juicy, plump, glossy lips. How do I lower this exposure? I feel, is that better? Does that look better? Let me know. And then we have one more here. I always do my unboxings on Instagram, but I'm like, why don't I do them on my YouTube as well? So we're gonna start doing them here as well. We got a package from Essie, fast drying polish or top coat. So pretty, look at this red, forever yummy. Ooh, <gasps> this is nice. This one is in Berry Naughty. Look at this color, it's like a wine. And this one is off Tropic. These are such cute colors for the holidays. This red, oh, so good. Good morning. Happy Wednesday, you guys. I just finished doing my skincare and it feels so good. I'm actually using a new product that I got in PR. I'm gonna try it out. It's supposed to help with dark spots and you guys know I have a stubborn dark spot here and that product is supposed to help with stubborn dark spots. So I will let you guys know how it works. But first things first, we are going to be making some cafecito because Lately, I'm not gonna lie, I have been on a little coffee kick, but I think it's because of my Cafe de Loya. It's just, it's been my go-to. Let me see if we have some cinnamon. Oh, we do. I'm gonna add extra cinnamon to the coffee. I always get asked about my kettle, and it is from Amazon. It is a great gift. It's actually on my gift guide. Talk about gift guides. I posted, I posted my gift guides on Instagram, and I put a highlight in case you guys missed it. 
but honestly, they're re it's really good. It's, it's everything that I either own or that I want. So if you guys want to check it out, it's on my Instagram, on my LTK too. If you guys, you guys could just go directly to LTK. Everything is linked there, but it is, it's a good gift guide. I did one for her, one for her in her home era, one for her in her sneaker era, one under $35, a beauty one. I think that's it. I think I did five. So you guys can check them out if you want. My, I'm telling you guys, my cafe de olla has been coming through. I have been loving it. And I think that's why I've been drinking more coffee. I'm actually going to be doing a iced coffee. I changed my mind. I haven't had an iced coffee in a while. Mm, it smells like very cinnamony. Okay, I just got off the phone with Isabella because we're actually having a girls' day today, which I'm so excited about. Isabella is grown. She drives now. She goes to college and she's on break right now because of Thanksgiving. So she's coming to spend the day with her tia, which I'm more than excited. But we're also going to be going to the bulky with Yasmin. She's been wanting to try the bulky, so we're finally making it happen. So we're going today. We're going early because it's holiday week and it gets packed. If you go for dinner, you normally wait like. Sometimes you'll get lucky and they'll seat you right away and other times you're waiting an hour, so. I am dressed. I did a little quick makeup. Um, I love these tops from J. Crew. They come with like a built-in bra. They're just tanks. I got them in a black and white. Such an essential piece because you can wear it with so many things. I'm wearing it with my trousers, with jeans, with skirts. And then I just threw this little Cardi over. This one is, is old. It's from H&M. Can you guys see the papada from this view? I always have to worry about papadations. Oh, maybe if I do this, you can't see the papadations. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so I have a vlog I need to edit. I want to start it now because um, it's so pretty early. I'm going to start editing, and then when I get back, I'll continue. Oh, my God. <gasps> yes. No. This Look is at this. Look at our guavas. Whoa. <laughs> this is the winner right now. Look, guys. Dennis is so this proud is, of our guava yes. tree. Wow. Look, Belly. Look how big this one is. These are oranges. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I was telling you. So I've been bathing in this. I could tell. Look, the baseball. color already changed. So go for it. So look. we're about to pick. This is our, our first Thanksgiving. Our first guava to me. of the year. Do I pull it from here or from here? From there. Yeah. Yep. Are you sure, Boo? -boo? Yep. There you go. That's okay. Uh, Wash her and let's yeah. cut her. We, it's, it's, they're so it beautiful. Look. Yeah. And they're all over. I'm excited. I'm very happy. This is our first one. I get sad once we finish them, but. I feel like they're pretty loaded now. Ready? Ready. Benji loves them. It's a little hard. Okay. Let's see. Let's try. You need some salt? A little bit of salt? Hmm. I know. That's how we had it. We started having them last year. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Nice and crunchy. Mm-hmm. It's good. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sweet. You want to try it, Belly? We're about to go to the mall, Isabella and I. I have some exchanges to make and some returns. So I'm taking this with me, and we're going to go have a girl's day. He wants guava, too. Look at him. Mm -hmm. He loves it. <laughs> no. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. It is a Thursday. My family is here because we're going to be celebrating. Oh, thank you, Boo. We're going to be, obviously, celebrating. Well, this is a big glass of... Sure. <laughs> Yummy, but we are, it's just gonna be my immediate family today, my siblings, that's why we celebrate it on Saturday. I have a little bit of music going, um, and I'm making mashed potatoes. Let me show you guys. So, it's not the first time I make mashed potatoes, it's the first time I make this recipe. Okay, so over here I have heavy cream, butter, and garlic, bringing it to a simmer, and I'm gonna leave it uh, simmering for about 15, no, maybe like 10 more minutes. And then over here I have the potatoes. I used Yukon Gold, obviously you can use russet, I just personally like Yukon Gold, so I'm just waiting for the butter so that I can start mashing them. My sister made corn. This is her famous corn. She makes it every single year for Thanksgiving. Everybody loves it. And then we got some fried chicken right here, um, which is delicious. And then over here, I'm gonna prep our salad station again. I'm just waiting for my sister to get here so I can put this together because it literally takes like three minutes. And that is it. All right, we've added the butter and the heavy cream. I let it simmer with garlic, like I chopped up garlic in chunky it pieces. Really good. I know, right? Yeah. I'm actually excited. This is the first time I make it this way. Uh, I saw a video on TikTok. It's really easy. All you need is heavy cream, butter, and garlic, and obviously the potatoes. Yeah. Yum. Gonna chop up some romaine for the salad bar. I love romaine. I normally mix romaine and mixed greens, but I don't have any mixed greens, so. 
romaine it is and I like to chop it in small bite-sized pieces because I don't like it when my salad has big chunks and you guys if you don't have a salad spinner you are literally missing out on life because it makes making salads so much easier you put it in here you take this little thing out and you rinse your salad like you make sure you wash it and then you put it back and you spin it. I'm sure you guys have seen how a salad spinner works. This one, my brother gifted it to me for Christmas last year. And I love it. You spin it and it has a little button and you stop it. I'll show you guys my little salad bar once it's done. I normally get the baguette from Trader Joe's, but they were closed today. So I went to Ralph's and they only have this one, which is, it's, you have to bake it at home. It's pretty easy. You just preheat the oven to 400 degrees. You bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. So we'll bake it for 13 minutes and it's gonna come out nice and soft. I'll put it, oh, maybe I should put something on this, right? So much prepping to do when your host, oh my God. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this in half so that it fits in the tray. And then you just put it in the oven for 13 minutes. Okay, this is my little salad bar. This is what I did last Saturday. Dad, what did you put on your plate? You put raisins, croutons. Oh, so you are gonna have the little chilitos. Yeah, and corn. Corn. Kidney beans. There's um, cucumber too. I don't know why this this uh, camera is so bright. Oh, up, up. Dad? Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> Kidney beans are flying everywhere. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. You guys, this is my morning. Right now, I am cleaning the top of our, um, what is this, the range? Um, look at how nasty this is. So that's all like, uh, dust and this is the side that's clean that's the side that's dirty so that's what I'm doing that is my morning right now I'm using this um, Wyman cooktop cleaner because it's for it removes grease and oil so whenever you cook you know all that travels so it's a kind it was kind of sticky I already did it this side see how nice and clear it is I still have to go through it with glass cleaner but do you see that difference? I also need to replace this. These are like things that you just don't think about on the daily, at least I don't. So I'm gonna try to go to Home Depot and get a new one of that. But look at this difference. It is wild. So that's, that's my morning. And this is the after. Our hood is nice and clean. It has been reborn <laughs> compared to what it was. These are things that you just don't think about cleaning. At least I don't on the daily. Like when I clean my kitchen, I'm not thinking, oh, I have to clean the hood and all of that. I just, you know, I'm over here. I'm on, I'm on this side. But I am happy that it's nice and clean now. Finally, nice and clean, you guys. The house. Oh, makes me so happy when the house is clean. The kitchen is clean. I'm washing the sheet, the fitted sheet and the flat sheet are already on the bed. I'm just waiting for the duvet cover. And then the sheets in the bed will be done. I also cleaned and organized my little vanity, which I'll show you guys. But I wanted to show you what I got the day that I went to the mall with Isabella, because I realized I never showed you. So Anthropology had 30% off, and I bought these two candle holders, candlestick holders, which I thought were so pretty, and they're so heavy. Um, if they still have them on sale, I highly recommend, especially if you do a lot of hosting, even if you don't host, because I got this for like the days that I host, but even if you don't host, these look so pretty on shelves or anything, and they were 30% off. And then we went to Madewell. I also bought lots of Christmas gifts, which obviously I'm not gonna show because then maybe they'll see what I got. Uh, but I went to Madewell and they had 40% off. I got this beautiful ring. You guys know how much I love jewelry and this ring was stunning. I love how chunky it is. It has like a mother of pearl in the center. It's so pretty. Uh, I got it in a size six and this was, it ended up coming I think to like $18. And then I also bought this little bag 
because I realized that I don't have any small bags. The only small black bag I have is the one I thrifted, which I love, but it's already falling apart. So I got this one, which kind of gave me like a Bottega feel. Very soft, nice leather. This one was $88, but then it was 40% off. And I love that you can hold it like this or you can hold it like this. Obviously with my robe and my hair up like this is not, <laughs> it's not the vibe, but I will link everything that I got down below if you guys want to check it out. Also great Christmas gifts, but I thought this was so cute and I love how soft the leather is. So I've been holding this in the bag because I'm like, I need to show them what I got. And then after the mall, we ended up going to get pho. I didn't vlog because I was, I just wanted to spend the day with her and really just take in the entire day. So I didn't vlog, but then after we went to the mall, we stopped at Target and I asked you guys about this book because I've heard so much about it and I, and I, Briefly took a picture of it, posted it on my Instagram, and then we left. We went to go have dinner. We had pho. And then I saw so many people saying that I absolutely needed to buy it. It is a fantasy book. And so we ended up going to Barnes & Noble because Isabella wanted to get a... What did she want to get? She wanted to get something from In Hypen, which is a Korean uh, boy band. So we went to Barnes & Noble, and I decided to pick it up. And you guys, you guys were not lying. I have not been able to put this book down since... What day was that? Friday? No, not Friday. Actually, I didn't start reading it until Thursday. So since Thursday, I am about, I would say like 30% through the book. This is how much I have read so far. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is how much I've read in um, two days. So it's so good. I can't put it down. I literally had to force myself this morning to put it down so that I could get stuff done because once I find a book that I'm obsessed with, all I wanna do is read. And this one is so, so, so good. It's just one of those books that it's fantasy, so obviously your imagination is just running wild. And then the characters in the book, what it's about. So if you guys haven't read it and you're looking for a new fantasy book, totally recommend. And now we're getting ready because we are gonna be going with our parents um, to this I think it's like a botanical garden that they turn into like a light spectacle. I honestly, I have no idea what it is. My brother was the one that kind of put the whole thing together. So we're gonna take our parents and that's what we're gonna be doing for the this evening, which I'm excited about, but I need to blow dry my hair. Obviously get ready, get dressed, do all the things. So I just did my skincare and finally washed my hair. It was so overdue to wash, but now I just need to blow dry it, which not my favorite part. This is my hair station. I want to show you guys the products that I'm using. The Color Wow Dream Coat. I absolutely love this. If you have frizzy hair, you definitely need this in your um, hair routine. And then the Color Wow Extra Large. If you have fine, thin hair and you want volume, this is amazing as well. And then this is the Bumble Thickening Cream. Again, if you have thin hair, then this makes your strands feel a lot thicker. Um, which is my issue. So every time I get my hair done by professionals, they always tell me, I always feel like I'm bald, <laughs> but they always tell me you have a lot of hair, but your hair is very, very fine. So that's why I always use a thickening product. And then I'm gonna be using the T3 blow dry brush to blow dry my hair. And let's do this. Luckily with this blow dry brush, it's pretty fast. So the next time you see me, my hair will be done. <laughs> and hair is blow dried. That was fast. I like using that T3 brush because I do it, it allows me to blow dry my hair super quick. So now, I'll probably just do a little headband today. I don't know if this is super blown out, you guys. I'm still trying to figure this big old camera out, but um, yeah, here's done. 